just getting started with my hydroponic system. Um, for this batch, I am using the rock wool, which looks like this when it comes. I removed it from the wrapping and I cut them into pieces and I soaked them in water. I had to test the water first um, with a pH tester and it needs to be about a 5.5 .5 pH so I had to use a little um, up and down until I got it to the right pH level. I soaked them for two hours and now I am putting them into the tray. So this particular tray has one level with holes in it and it goes down into a reservoir so I'm going to fill this all the way up and let them drain for a little while and then I'm going to plant the seeds in them. Okay now I have let them sit for a bit and while they were sitting I made labels for all of the seeds I'm putting in here. Um, I cut them down so that they won't interfere with the cover when we put the cover on there. So I've labeled, labeled each bay of the seeds that I'm putting in there and then I always write um, how many days to sprout and it'll tell you right on the package. Right here, sprouts in seven to 10 days. So the first one I have here is cabbage and I put them out on a paper towel and then with a um, toothpick you dip it in the water and then you can very easily pick up a seed put it in there they say about a quarter of an inch deep into the rock well and that's done that's it so I will continue to plant the entire tray and what I'm planting in this tray is mostly greens, cabbage, kale, lettuce, all different types of lettuce, some broccoli, some dill, salad blend, spinach. I'm going to try some tomato pear, some pear tomatoes and some cola, I don't even know how to say cola, <laughs> cola, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to dry that and I'm going to get busy planting. I've got a lot of planting to do. So once you have all the seeds planted, just do one last little squirt in each hole to make sure that the seeds are wet. And then go ahead and put the cover on. And then it should be put under some grow lights or on a heat mat. Uh, both of which I don't have set up yet, so I'm going to plan on doing that next. So this is the final setup of our um, hydroponic cracky seeds that I planted. Um, so this is where I put the seeds to um, grow and sprout. We've got it set up in here with grow lights. We have a fan that's blowing on the plants that I started uh, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Those are doing pretty good. A lot of these are in dirt. Some of them I will be moving to hydroponic, but I started them in dirt because I didn't have my rock wool at the time. So the ones that I planted in the rock wool are right here. And you can see that some of these are sprouting already. Um, I lost a few. A few of them are dry, and because I wasn't didn't have enough water in here, uh, learn as you go. So some down here are doing really well. On the end, the yellow pear tomatoes. Those are doing good, and my however you say that, kohlrabi. Those are doing good. Um, some of the salad blends. Some of these I'm going to have to replant new seeds because they're just, I let them dry out. So I didn't really think about how much water I had in there and how much they needed. So I will replant some of those. 
and in this tray I have half dirt and half um, rock wool starch because I wasn't really even sure about the rock wool. I wasn't sure how good it was going to do. So we kind of went half and half. But these are doing okay. It's only been like a week that they've been in here. Some of them there's no sight of. But those squash look like they're coming up big back here in the dirt. So that's kind of nice. And there's a flower back there I got growing. I'm planting some flowers to attract the bees. Oh, this just went out. I think I might have hit the plug. I'll check on that in a second. Yes, I just uh, unplugged it. Now these, I've got to figure out which ones I'm going to move. I'm going to move some of these peppers into hydroponic. I'm going to take them out of the dirt and put them in the clay pebbles and in the hydroponic. I'm going to be working on that this week. So a lot of these are doing pretty good. They've been in the dirt now for a few weeks. Red peppers, my habanada, not a pino, jalapenos. Um, they're growing pretty good in my onions back there. But a lot of them, I need to get them into the next stage. I have a fan kind of blowing on the plants to kind of toughen them up. So these over here in the dirt, these are getting a little of the fan now. But I will uh, show you guys the process when I move these into the hydroponic clay pebbles and get them set up in the tubs. Welcome to the Morgan Homestead channel. Uh, today we are going to be making some hydroponic uh, containers, first time ever. So we are in the process of drilling holes for the net pots in these 27 gallon uh, containers. So go ahead, Kev, why don't you? Yep, so basically I'm drilling covers right now it's to, that'll accept three net pots. These, these are three inch net pots. Um, so I have a three inch uh, hole saw and I just kind of spaced them out how I want them and then I marked them kind of in the center of these diamonds and I'm going to drill holes for that. What I do, to, so in a hole saw you get the pilot drill bit. I run that in the forward position on the drill first to get it down and you run it slowly because it can break the top. Um, so I run it slowly until I get get through the plastic and then I actually for the for the bigger hole size I run the drill in reverse. Running the, the bigger hole saw in reverse, the, the, the bit doesn't want to grab as bad. Otherwise, if you run it in forward, it wants to grab and it can break the, the plastic cover. So again, I, now I'm going to drill the pilot, so I'm going to put it in forward. And once it gets down through there, I switch the drill to reverse and then drill the big hole. Kind of rock the, the drill back and forth, running the, the 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 drill at a little bit slower speed, just to make sure it doesn't grab and want to break it. Oh, just like that. So now my whole pilot hole broke. Now it's going to be a lot harder for me to to get this big hole saw. Just go slow. So 
it is possible to get it to go through even if you break it like that, but you just got to be real careful. You need 16 wait, total. Wait, wait. And then I got to come along and back in. shavings in there they can get in the water and, and contaminate it so you got to make sure it's real clean and apparently you don't want it all over the carpeting yeah that too so we need uh, we need a total of 16 of the three hole type so I'm just going to continue going with those what I do to, to measure the hole I just take a ruler I figure out where I'm putting it and in this case I'm putting it in three, these three diamonds. So I just line up the two corners of the diamond to kind of get a center point there, draw a line and same thing the other direction. Gives me a kind of a general area of where the center is and where I can start drilling. Hydroponics is something we've never done, so this is going to be uh, a learning experience. Maybe if we have some experts that are watching, you can kind of help us out along the way, and give us some of your expert um, suggestions, and so it should be interesting. And yeah, we're doing the the Kratky uh, method of hydroponics, so it's just you fill the tank up. You let the plants roots down in the water, and and as the as the roots of the plant absorb the water, the water level drops, and then the roots just keep growing down into it. So there's no mechanical pumps or anything like that to move the water. Some plants um, take up more space than others. So, oh, hang on, I gotta vacuum that. So then some of them will have three holes, some of them will have four, etc. Yeah, so then this three inch net pot just drops down in the hole, fits right in there, and then you just put your, your media and your plant in there. We're, we're using these clay pebbles. Yep. Those will go in there, so I'm gonna vacuum this. <laughs> So that's seven that I have done with the three holes so nine more to go and uh, then we, we can start we have other you know we have a couple that are two holes some single some eight some are some are uh, two I think I said that yeah 
But, but anyway, so, so we're just going to continue doing that and, and getting all of these holes drilled. All right. All right, so the next step we're going to take is we're going to take some of the, the plants that we're growing currently, the seeds that we started, and put them in blacked out mason jars in a net cup uh, just temporarily until we get the greenhouse built and it actually the weather gets warmer. It's, it still gets freezing at night. So we need to get the greenhouse built um, and then we can get our tote set up and get all the plants put in the totes. But for now, we want to get some of the larger plants just in something larger. So we'll put them in the mason jars with the net cups um, and, and put in the, the hydroponic nutrients in the water and just get them going that way for now. The things we're going to be doing in the, the mason jars are the peppers. So some of these peppers, as you can see, are getting pretty good sized already. So we're going, so we have some jalapenos, we have some jalapenos, we have some habanadas, and some green peppers and yellow peppers. We're probably going to start putting them in those mason jars for now. The next step is going to be, we'll show, show us uh, mixing up the hydroponic solution, getting the mason jars ready getting the plants in the net cups and getting them started there thank you for watching remember to subscribe hit the like button if you if you like this content uh, also click the notification bell so you get notified of, our, of the next video that comes up so bye for now and thank you for watching